rest of this. Yo, everybody, I'm finally back. Back into the garage after a few days of being sick and the first thing I'm gonna do is repair this one and so uh, pretty big hole so I need to close this one and later on I'm gonna move to the motorcycles Looking much better. Now I'll clean up and hopefully I'm done. As you can see, voila, ready to go. Voila. Okay, so I was working on this one because actually I'm done with it, but uh, I saw some leaking from, from this cover and I was like, hmm, let's check it out and i wanted to put a new gasket and i was cleaning everything up and i found out that here is a crack so actually the oil is going through here and even though the, the screw is here inside the 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 oil is going through this yeah i don't know if there's i don't know if i can sh show it or oh, wait yeah the crack is over there exactly here so what i'm gonna do is clean up all this thing and then uh, weld it up and hopefully I'm done. So meanwhile, I'm going to replace one. Close all the art so I can fix the problem. I can. Um, I'm gonna jump and work on this one. I'm gonna change the tires, put a, a wider uh, handlebar, the the speedometer uh, it's gonna be in the middle now no not like this and of course fix all this and that's it yeah so tires the it a new handlebar maybe i need to adjust the cables of the gas and the, and the stuff but i think it's gonna be fine so yeah and then i will be done with this one Thing is, I need to put this one all back together. Everything. So yeah. Uh, first problem I found out with this one is that here actually is this metal ring. You can see it here and there. And um, I tried to pull it out, but it's not working. So now I'm gonna machine like. A, like a pipe that goes here in and then I can smash it out so yeah because otherwise this one will never go in yeah so actually this one is now here um after I heat it up and uh, smash it a little bit, I actually took it out with the uh, dirt one. And now I'm gonna make a video showing how I do it. Well, time lab actually. But, yeah. So, yeah, let's move on. Good to go.
so the T100 SS is now outside because it's good. Um, later, maybe later. I think tomorrow it's gonna be tomorrow, but maybe later. I'm gonna do a test ride, but now I'm gonna move forward with this one. So tomorrow I can do a test ride on this one too, hopefully. So yeah, let's work. First thing first, clutch. Let's put it all together. This one, I have the new one. As you can see, there are pretty big difference. And um, after that one, I think I'm gonna move with uh, the front side of the motorcycle. And after that, we will see the tires or the saddle, I don't know. I think the tires, but we will see. Poco a poco. As I say, this one is all together now. Now I'm gonna adjust it. And um, normally I put the center and the housing on the table, I mounted on the table, and then I um, I put it here. But this time the, this one was on tension and I didn't want it to lose it and then uh, adjust it again. So I just put it, I mounted here. That's what uh, you saw in the previous video. So um, yeah, clean up. I adjust this one, close it, check the timing because I think it's not good and uh, after that one test run and if it runs properly then I'm gonna do some body work and some headlight you know and everything so yeah poco poco I think uh, get some gasoline now it's becoming a uh, luxury. Yo everybody, I'm finally back <laughs> on the YouTube channel. <laughs> I know you missed me. It was a hard week, two weeks without Francisco, but <sighs> back in business. <laughs> I just checked the timing, the timing was actually pretty good. Uh, only one cylinder was a little bit, just a tiny little bit off. But it was just a quick adjustment. So uh, now I think I'm gonna do the tires. After the tires, um, let's see. I need to do the, adjust the fender, the rear fender. I need to short it and do a, do a new, body set and the headlight the the one was here it's going away and we're gonna put a, a little one and after that I'm done with this one yeah I still need to do a test ride but I'm gonna do it when I have everything already in place and everything so yeah yeah let's do this let's go so um, now the guy who did the wa uh, water blasting um, I'm gonna take this video and make it faster for him. So uh, just a quick adjustment and then uh, back again to, to work.
So, after some work, she is looking pretty good. Yeah, the attitude is there, so it looks nice now. Huh? Really looks nice. There we go, now ready to be cut and then a little bit shaping here and that's it. Yeah, then later the next step is to fix it on the motorcycle, give it some form. Plan, <clears throat> Tiana asked me to actually uh, make it even uh, smaller. So it fell <coughs> between uh, the frame, the framework. So it must have fell in here. So you need to see all the, all this one, all the way. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna reshape it, make it uh, smaller, and uh, after that we will see. Because first of all, I wanted that it goes open and close, but now because of that. I'm yeah I can do it but then you will see always this one here hanging and that's not that nice and if I do it in this one here it should be like way longer and it will not look nice so yeah let's see after really working and uh, many hours I finally made the saddle as you see uh, uh, five minute work <laughs> no I'm joking just from my own motorcycle but uh, that's what the owner wants the one is that it goes like this, you see the frame. So it's gonna be exactly the same as this one, but shorter, because this one is too long, we can see. So it's gonna be into here, actually. So yeah, time to fabricate. So, finally, after uh, a few hours of work, voila, there we go. It's so tight, oh my god! <laughs> I just modified it so it fits, and uh, <clears throat> as you see, it fits really well. <laughs> god damn it, come on! <laughs> no, okay, so, <clears throat> now, yeah. I will need to refine this still, even a little bit more. But, this, and like that. Voila! Bada Perfect. This one I still need to be fixed, but I need to do like a bracket. <clears throat> and besides that, this one, it's done. Like ting 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 ting, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, it has some play in here. Yeah, yeah. So, just uh, back in the garage. It's Saturday. Uh, as you see, everything is full. <laughs> so now, first thing, I gotta take the motorcycles out so I have some play, uh, some space to work. Um, with the desert sled now I'm done until Monday 
hopefully I get the, the pass uh, tomorrow or so, tomorrow evening or maybe even today. And then Monday I can move further, but right now I'm done with it. Um, so I'm gonna jump on this one now. I need to do some body work and some stuff, so you're gonna see. The idea for this one is to do the front end, then put the front end, voila, speedometer, keep it done. Um, the battery, not to be placed. Uh, lights at the back, foot bags for the for this yeah for the second person. Um, uh, this one I need to place it. Now I was checking because this one is the old one is made of two with two components so like this one it fits in here and the new one is everything in one. That's the big difference. That's why this one is a small actually. And uh, so now I need to fill up this gap here in between. So the only thing I was possible to find is this one. This is from an Orton, I think. Um, and so I'm gonna machine it so it fits in here because right now it's not. So um, I'm gonna machine it, fix it up, fill it up, and put it all back together. So yeah, bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. After doing the spacer, that's the end product. Voila! Yep. So now it's good to go. So, <clears throat> next problem I found is that uh, this one is full with sand in it. But not like sand from the street, no, no, it's like from sandless thing. So I think the person who did this. I uh, didn't clean up the inside because now I'm getting some glass uh, you know, like I can actually feel a little bit of the all the time I noticed that because I was putting it in and I hear like scratching and I see here on the low part of the bar and it's all scratched so this one is full of sand so later on I need to clean this one but now first, first I'm gonna clean this one so yeah People don't buy this kind of uh, lights for your garage, yeah? They don't last long. Not really. I think I have it not even a year. I finally got so far. Um, Let's see. The front end is done. Uh, this one is new. I painted too. And uh, now I just need to get this, those, those two parts, so I can put the, the handlebars. Uh, let's see. Uh, what I was doing with this plastic, the first one I did broke, as you can see. I was doing a fender, a rear fender for, for the back side. You can see, voila, it fits perfectly, so I'm really happy with it. 
and I bend that with my with my leg so it gets a nice round shape. Uh, it doesn't need to be perfect, that's why it's looking like this. And I still have some refine, of course, like this and blah, blah, blah. But today I wanted to do like, let's see how far I can get, you know? Um, next thing I did is like this one, I fix it here. Now it's gonna, the battery is coming back on the motorcycle. So it has an electric start and not only kick. So the owner is gonna be pretty happy with that. Um, next thing, um, yeah, this is temporarily. Uh, I still need to put some rubber here underneath uh, and two of those. And later I will need to do a little, a, a few more things, but yeah, for today I'm done, yeah. So we are gonna. Yeah. 